Yes, and KLD News 13's Chief Meteorologist Chuck George is joining us live to check out the Capitol Christmas tree tonight. Hi, Chuck. It's pretty fun out there. We're excited to see it. Yeah, hundreds of people. You know, one thing that you can say about the OV is that when a community event happens, the community turns out for it. Everybody ready? Yeah. We're about to open. What's about to happen is they're going to open a door so that we can see the Capitol Christmas tree. You can kind of peek in and see inside it. So here we go. Ready? ready. Five, Five, four, three. That's Mayor Loomis, the town mayor. He's about to open it up. Hopefully he opens it nice and wide so our camera can get a shot of it too. Oh, we can't see it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to leave you hanging until we come back for weather and we'll get the camera up closer so you can see it. But look at the crowd out here right now. Everybody say, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> there we go. The Capitol Christmas tree. Now, everyone's going to take their own turn going up and looking in. We're going to peer in. I didn't realize the tree was going to be so low in there. We're going to peer in and show you coming up in the main forecast. Don't forget, you can track the location of the Capitol Christmas tree by going to KOLD.com and clicking on the story that's about it, or you can go directly to our links page, or you can email me, and I'll send you directly there. Tomorrow morning at about 8, 8.30, it stops at Reed Park, so inside the city of Tucson tomorrow. Today, tonight, it's all about the OV up here. Everybody love the OV? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get you some current temperatures outside. It's cooling down nicely. You can see live numbers on First Alert Doppler Live. Coming up, the weekend rain chance doesn't look all that good to me, but we'll talk about it, and we'll also talk about much chillier temperatures. Heather and Dan, back to you. You know, we could see just a little glimpse of that tree, so I'm, I'm really yeah, excited yeah. to see the rest of it. Yeah. From yeah, what we're we can see, it looks fabulous, yeah. Chuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, you know, it's 85 feet tall, and it uh, weighs 9,000 pounds, and they're hauling it all the way across the country. And they're, cre they're keeping it hot a day. It, it does what? It drinks 80 gallons of water a day. That's pretty amazing in itself. 80 gallons of water a day and they have an elaborate watering system that we've been learning more and more about. We'll talk about all that coming up. All right. Thanks a lot, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. Bye, guys. First Alert Chief Meteorologist Chuck George, as you saw earlier, is live in Oro Valley tonight. Yeah, Arizona's gift to the nation, the Capitol Christmas tree is making a stopover in the OV, Chuck. Hi there, guys. Look at the OV's Capitol Christmas tree. As it stops by here, they're claiming it for themselves. You are looking inside. Heather and Dan, can you see it? Yeah, you know, it's, it's yeah. pretty amazing how they have to ship this thing all the way across the country. I know, an elaborate shipping mechanism. You know, the people from the Forest Service who are here, they're so excited to be a part of a good story like this. Oh, a imagine. gift from Arizona, the Capitol Christmas tree. We're back with your full first alert forecast on the other side of this short break. We are back live at the OV. We are in the OV tonight, and here we are right at the Oro Valley Marketplace. That's where the tree is. This is the uh, Capitol Christmas tree, the first time that Arizona has ever supplied the Capitol Christmas tree to our nation's capital. You know, we have supplied the White House Christmas tree in the past, in the 1960s, but this is the first time that an Arizona tree will be placed on the Capitol Mall between the Washington Monument and the Capitol Building itself. You're looking at people as they go up and take a, a gander at this. Now, the reason they don't just completely unveil the whole tree is because they don't want to dry it out. They've got an elaborate watering system. A bladder, if you will, is down at the bottom of the tree trunk, which is at the far end of this, uh, the far end of this semi-trailer that you're looking at. So there's a bladder there that's feeding it 85 gallons of water a day. Then an elaborate burlap system is up above it. They put water all over that so that it stays very high humidity inside. It's all about climate control to make sure this tree is healthy once it gets to our nation's capital. I guess it's not too early to say Merry Christmas. Let's check your forecast for tonight. Back out Live now, you're looking at uh, the crowd out here, looking at the Capitol Christmas tree. It came from the uh, Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, and now they're all taking a look at it tonight. Including Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Chuck.